Hello. So a couple of days ago, I posted a picture on Instagram. It looked like this. Then Dylan Bruce, the guy who plays Paul on Orphan Black, liked it. I discovered this while I was on break at work, so while I wanted to react this way, this was sort of the requirement of my reaction. I'm not gonna critique it because it's a damn good show and if you're not watching it already then you should be. What I'm going to do is tell you what I expect from season two. So here are the eight things I would like brought up in season two. Number one, what was on Kira's sonogram? They could have been just surprised that she healed quickly but surgeons don't generally make the dramatic chipmunk face over healthy people. So if they don't explain it in season two, I'm pretty much gonna have to be forced to kidnap a sonogram technician to analyze the footage. Disclaimer, if a sonogram technician goes missing in 2014, I was just kidding. It, it wasn't me, I promise. Number two, why is Mrs. S called that? Like, seriously, why doesn't she have a real name? It's really off-putting, especially with the season finale. Number three, who is Maggie Chen? That's it, that's, that's all I wanna know, who is she? Number four, why did Beth kill herself? Now, we know she was taking a lot of drugs and we could just simply leave it at that, but there has to be more to it. According to the descriptions of her by all the other characters, she was this really strong, brave person. Allison didn't believe Sarah when she said she was dead. Even the way she killed herself, kind of took a lot of guts. Like, she didn't hesitate. She just waltzed right in front of a moving train. So why? Number five, is Sarah the original? She's the only one to have a biological child, and throughout the season, the other characters are just calling her an anomaly, but according to me, and the laws of cloning, clones can't reproduce. So she has to be the original, right? Number six, how do they have a legal patent on the clones when cloning is illegal? And on that note, number seven, how did they not expect Cosima to hack that code? Especially since it was binary. There has to be some sort of ulterior motive thingy. Number eight, how are the clones gonna get Allison out of her contract with the cloning company? As far as I could tell, Allison's kind of SOL right now. Again, if you haven't watched this show already, please do. It's incredible. I think it comes out on DVD in July. I know I'm definitely going to be buying it. Ugh, BBC America, just take all my money. Also, I'm going to be starting a cooking channel on the 6th of July where I'll be posting videos slash recipes every Saturday from then on. Go ahead and leave a comment in the section below with suggestions for the channel's name and also any recipes you'd like me to cook for you guys. I'll see you guys next week for the next episode of Thoughts From My Car. Please subscribe and like this video if you like the addition of my friend Charlie. Bye.